Hey Modern Fragrance community, I've been asked a number of times about fixatives in perfumery, so today I'll talk about just that, fixatives and how they work. A fixative is used to balance the volatility of the compounds used in your fragrance formula. These reduce the pressure of faster evaporating molecules, stabilizing your overall evaporation rate, increasing the tenacity. Here's a quick science lesson to give you a better understanding of the subject. A fixative is basically the heaviest or largest fragrance molecule within your accord. Something called van der Waals forces may play a role in the bonding of these heavier molecules to the lesser volatile compounds. Molecules contain energy and their electrons are always in motion. A large group of electrons in one area allow an electrically positive section of a molecule to attract the electrons of another molecule. And of course, negatively charged groups are repelled. This interaction will cause a fixation effect, stabilizing your fragrance. There are many botanical ingredients that contain fixative properties. Here are a few examples of common fixatives used in perfumery. I'll start with those you can find in nature, like amorous, cedarwood atlas, oris, sandalwood, vanilla, and scents derived from animals like ambergris, civet paste, castoreum, and deer musk. A few common scented synthetic fixatives include Hedione or Hedwin, depending on your pronunciation, Calone 1951, Ambroxide, and Aldehyde C10, C11, and C12 MNA, which are all key ingredients in the popular Chanel No. 5 fragrance. And lastly, odorless synthetic fixatives such as Benzyl Benzoate, Diethyl Phthalate, and Triethyl Citrate. I hope this video has helped you achieve a better understanding of the role fixatives play in perfumery. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.